Hey everybody, this is Heidi with a crochet tutorial for you today. In this video, we are gonna look at how to join the ends of your work with slip stitches. So in front of me here, I have several rows of half double crochet stitch worked flat into a rectangle. So if we weren't going to join our ends, this could become a scarf if we kept working more lengthwise. Um, but what we're gonna do here is join the ends. So this could form a cowl really easily or any number of things. So I've got my hook here and my working yarn off to the side. So what we're gonna do is fold these two ends together and take a quick look at our work. So you can see all of the chains here at the top edge of what we've been working. And you can also see the bumps, the back bumps from the chain we started off working this piece with. So what we're gonna do, because we haven't increased or decreased any stitches, is make sure to slip these together, lining up every bump with the appropriate chain at the other end. So what I'm gonna do is chain one and turn so my ends are lined up like they should be. And we're gonna dive in to this first stitch and find its corresponding bump at the far end of our work, the original chain we began this piece with. And we're just gonna yarn over and pull through both that bump from the beginning and the V we dove into. And since it's a slip stitch, we just pull that all the way through our initial loop. Then we're gonna do that again. Work into the next V and find the corresponding bump on the other end and slip through both of those and the original one. And then you just keep doing that all the way across your row, but really make sure that you're lining up those bumps from the initial chain with the Vs that you're working in. With yarn like this that has pretty good stitch definition, and by stitch definition, I mean it's easy to see the outline of the yarn forming every single crochet stitch. So since this has all that stitch definition, it's really easy to keep track of those bumps and chain Vs um, at each end. But with some yarns that are a little bit lumpier or might be variegated or a really fine gauge, it can be hard to line those up as you work across your work. The reason they need to be lined up is because if you don't line them up, you can get interesting puckering and a skewed lineup of your work as you slip it together. So I'm gonna keep slipping all the way across this row and come back to show you what the finished slip stitch join looks like. So taking a look at our finished joined crochet here, you can see where we've joined with those slip stitches and how perfectly lined up they all are because we made sure to keep track of those bumps and chains at the beginning and end of our work. And you can see it would even make a super cute little toddler cowl, even at this small size. So if you have any other tips or tricks for us for how to join ends of crochet with slip stitch, let us know in the comments. And that's also a great place to reach out if you have any questions for us too. Don't forget to tune in soon for even more crochet tutorials. Mm -hmm.